It's the only choice. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. <laughs> wow. That was a long branch right there. And we're back I can't in the wait office. I to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I'd like to know there's the new content. New, new content. It's a really new, new content. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. No, you don't. No, you don't. What has he got? You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> what? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. I love this. I love this. The end is never the end. Again! The Stanley Parable 2. 427. The Investor Showcase. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Taste the but sequel. the Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Potential. This is funny as hell. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky. Just the two of us. You and I. Just the two of us. We'll get naked if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. Just the two of us. They're back. Two doors. More TSP, better TSP, win-win. Sequential mindshare, paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach. Envelop this is so business speak. The fern. The fern is different. Oh, the fern is the same. Logo ideas. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Okay. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Who took the red marker? Me. Okay. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman Arkham Asylum 2, City, 
Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar, <laughs> Dark Souls 2. Oh my god. Crab, the ultimate sequel. The way to the show floor. New features! New... Are we gonna get on the new content bus? I would like to take a ride on the new content bus. All aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this is fancy. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Ooh, hear your name in the game. Okay. Ooh. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? I want the game and to say course, my name. The first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Right. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Right. Isn't that wonderful? It is. It would be so much more engaging if he, instead of calling me Stanley all day, if he was calling me Richie. All right. Road to the perfect button. Too big, too small. Chest ray. Okay. Fun game. Don't disappoint me. Don't you call me Stanley. Jim. That's not Sorry, my name. I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please gesture. step forward and press the button. Jim. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a game programmer. I'm a Jim, Jim. Totally Jim. Thanks, FPS. Imagine being named Jim and actually hitting that button and going, what the F? I know. Wouldn't that be crazy? You'd be like, damn. That would be crazy. Thanks, FPS. All right. I know. You'd be like, he knows. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush, that was you The button described you, do it again, do it again Do it again, do it again Jim. Oh, It hits even harder the second time If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money Let's take a break from the gym button I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation Jim. Whoa there, Jim. cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. <laughs> That's too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Jim. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start Jim. to lose all Jim. sense of Jim. who you actually Jim. are. Jim. Don't you put that away through the floor? Oh my god, what is wrong with you? I got to push it all the way down, though. I got to push it all the way down. All right. Check out the other new content. I suppose I could allow only people <laughs> named Jim to in play the, the game. Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Enjoy the new features. Counter Strike Two just got announced. Hilariously relevant to you playing this too. Two, two, two. Please, no screenshots. A whole new office with zany carpet. Nine, nine, nine. Red is the new orange. Updated ray traced. More of the same, but in a good way. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. 
New features, new content, new ideas. Look at that, Schween Shaders. The sequel's gonna have Schween Shaders, gang. Oh my goodness. You're telling your kids this is PAX East? It's kind of like PAX East. It's a lot like PAX East. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. I don't know if we want the epilogue. We'll, we'll go to the epilogue later. Let's go check out the merch. I saw the new content. The end is never the end again. Okay, we could go up there. What's in here? Stanley Parable 2? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration. Like balloons. <laughs> like balloons? But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Happy 12th birthday, step niece, or get well someday. Um. I think get well someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece, it is. <laughs> That's so true, though. <laughs> Do you hate that when you want advice from someone? Or actually. And they choose something and you kind of want the other no. one? No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Come now, you've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fine. No, I will not move on. Change it already. Change the balloons. Thing is, you'd buy some of that merch? It's good merch. Alright, what else is in here? And the jump circle is back. New content. The you know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Yeah. It's... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. Aww. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Oh, if, if I left some jumps, I could have jumped a couple more times there. Damn. I should have just left a jump or two. Free, new, and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Get it here. Let's get it. Free achievement. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. This one? This lever here? Wait, that's this, this lever. That's what I'm supposed to push? Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Suck. Suck. I was promised an achievement. I was promised an achievement. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? I don't know. I don't know. There's something up there that's new. Jump circle. <laughs> Number five, this map. <laughs> Free achievement, which is a lie. The button that says the name of the player, the game of this player, as long as your name is Jim. Merch, settings, world champion? Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. Office decorations, epilogue, collectibles, infinite hole. Exit. All right, we got a couple more things. The infinite hole? It won't end. All right, hold on. Let's see what's up here. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Ah, collectibles. 
Now it's a real video game. Yes. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. <laughs> I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> oh my god, it's so true! Oh my god. <laughs> Look how far away this is, too. Oh god. <laughs> Look at all the people. This is us grabbing for it. They tell you there's no reward for getting them all, and there'll be people that get them all and do nothing. Collect them all. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Oh man. <sighs> hilarious all right um so we did collectibles let's try the infinite hole why do i have a feeling i know what this is going to be all about oh what's over here no screenshots here what's this oh that's okay hey look it's ferns time depth Time deeper, space like infinity, opening, surrounding area, depth, infinite, infinity. It just keeps going. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right, infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Okay. What if we take a screenshot in there? I didn't try. You see? Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. This is nice. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. But you said it's infinite. Is it infinite? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Hmm. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... <laughs> okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. Uh, you found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, mug. and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly, mostly infinite. infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. No, I'll change the name. I'll here when you're ready. I don't like the name. No. It's just a really deep hole. Change the name. I'm not teleporting. I'm not gonna do it. 
Hello? You can see a little pinhole up there, can't you? How long do you think he would say sit, leave you down here in silence? He's gonna win, isn't he? I'm gonna hit the button. Damn it, I hate when he wins. Press O to question nothing. Press O. Fine! Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more. Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see? I was right. The problem is you. <laughs> the problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... <laughs> oh. For shorter that time. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? It was. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. That's I mean, true. Admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. A lot of cigarette butts down here. Every pause button is a Roman numeral two. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Nope. Even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Okay. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. See? Now I want to oh, pop back to the top and just Some leave. Of my lie has come to haunt me. <laughs> not only is the hole not in... How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. That was a pool. Oh. Who am I to judge? In, into you a pool. just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Teleport won't work. Is the um, teleport button not working? No. You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose. I I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Don't kill me. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. If I can you only get to jump. Be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Oh, no. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. You can't get out, gang. My life is over. Now we get to see where it really takes us. Now we got to see how deep it goes. Me and my mug and all the cigarette butts are leaving. Down to the depths where no one knows. No. <laughs> I got this sinking feeling. Elevator, go down the hole. I press F to change my perspective. And that's weird to look at myself, you know. It's Jim. It's Jim. It's Jim. <laughs> Jim. Jim. 
him! Music matters. G, G changes the music or the sound. Saver J, change yourself. My head's stronger. Now you're no longer. You can let the space of mine. My head's stronger. You're no longer. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of dozed off there, <laughs> drifting away into dreamland. No, put me so back! That Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Aww. You don't want to miss a single moment. No. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly no. focused on the hole? No. From the looks of things, you and I will have many many years here in this hole. Put me back! And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. Oh. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip you. That's like when you're having the best dream ever and somebody wakes you. Oh, and you're like, come on. I just want to go back. But you can never go back. No. I just want that again. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Yeah, when the alarm clock goes off. But look, there it is. It's the whole mostly infinite hole. Fine, it ended. Can I go back in the hole? No screenshots. Can you take screenshots? I hit print screen. All print screen. I don't think I don't think they care. I don't care. Are you F12? F12. Don't care. Took screenshots. Oh, man. All right, what else did we see? That was great, though. That was my favorite thing ever. A whole game of that, I could I could do that for a long time. Whole game of falling. Stanley Parable 2, Reassurance Bucket. New features. I feel like there, there's a bucket in the main game that we didn't discover. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. 
It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Give me that bucket. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Thank you. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. It's a powerful bucket. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I like this. Gang. In your D&D campaigns, make the, uh, the bucket of reassurance a thing. It talks to the person and reassures them. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? I think so. That really should be an award if it isn't already. Button that says the name of the player game, office decorations, okay. No screenshots. Have we gone to all the places now? Jump circle, we've done. This map, we've done. Free achievement, we've tried. The button that says the name of the game of the player, as long as that player is Jim. We looked at the merch. Settings, world champion, where is that? So we have to go through the tunnel and then to the left? Is that right? It's across from... Merch. 